What's going on guys, man? Kicks with Chris back here. And in today's video, I just want to talk about the rest of week 13. So if you guys haven't seen my previous video, I talked about the specifically the North Face and Supreme week 13 collaboration. So I'll link it up below or in the description. Um, if you want, you know, check out that video first. And this one, I'm only going to be specifically talking about the rest of the lookbook pieces for week 13 and the resale and retail predictions. Let's get into it. So if you guys don't know how these videos work, is I start off with the least type items first and then move all the way to the most type items. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the Supreme Racing Stock jersey it's gonna be dropping in two different colorways just like this all over print with like a motorcyclist on like the um, like the main thing for both the prints one's gonna be dropping this full colorway with like the whole kind of like a regular all over print with color and the second one's like a neutral like with only the blues just like shades of all blue um it's probably gonna be a brick you know like that's why it's kind of the most the least type item right now um probably retail for this probably gonna be around 118 i think the only soccer jerseys that ever did good were the supreme and playboy ones and then i can see resale for this going for around 120 to 135 and that's like maybe only in a size smaller xl so there pretty much is no retail and there's definitely just a personal cop for the second item we have the annual supreme you know those short sleeve shirts so this one they have they're dropping a mosaic silk short sleeve shirt i have no idea who's copying this one this one is just you know i'm not even messing with this one at all but if you guys do want to know the information about this i'd say retail fit is going for around 128 and it's gonna be dropping in three different colorways so you're gonna have this like dark navy blue one a mustard one and then a black one with you know the same mosaic print on all of them and on the back there's a little bit of supreme branding and you know when it comes to resale i could see this going for around 125 to 135 so again no resale on this piece just another personal cop for the third item out of ex excluding the north face collection we have this glitter football top so we're gonna be dropping in five different colorways. So you're gonna have a purple, a black, a yellow, a white, and a red. So you know the classic five that Supreme usually does on all their tees, shirts, jerseys, you know, like whatever. And for this, I can see retail being pretty steep. You know, it's gonna be around 128 for retail on this one. And then you know, most of the time, Supreme football tops don't do well either way. So again, you know, the three consecutive pieces in a row, they're all gonna be personal cops. And when it comes to resale, I could see it's going for 130 to 150, and then 150 only reaching in colors black and white, and for sizes small and XL. So pretty much, you know, just stay away from this if you're trying to resell. But you know, if you kind of mess with the, if you kind of mess with like the piece, it's kind of cool. I say just pick it up for the personal. Like, it should be pretty easily manual. For the fourth item, I do not. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's the Nueva York short sleeve top. And this kind of just proves that like no matter how much Supreme puts branding on their tees, you know, it doesn't make it good. You know, this is literally screaming. There's I think it says Supreme on it like 10 times per shirt. And you know, it's still a really weak piece. Nobody really messes with it. So it kind of shows that like, even though there's just branding on a lot of these pieces, just a Supreme everywhere, it doesn't mean it's gonna have resell. And this is like one of the best examples right here. So it's gonna be dropping in four different colorways. So you're gonna have this weird like light green, tonal green one. You're gonna have this black, black one, you're gonna have this violet one, and you're gonna have this red one. They all kind of have this like acid wash type vibe to them. And for these, I can see retail being for the regular short sleeve tops are around 78. And then even though, you know, it says Supreme everywhere and some people might think there might be resale, I'd say, you know, stay away from this unless it's for the personal again. Uh, resale, I could see reaching from 80 to 100. So again, like really like small profit to be made only in like really limited sizes and colorways. For the fifth item, it's actually gonna be the second camp cap dropping this week. So the first one's with the North Face collection as this is just a lookbook piece. And I feel like this is gonna be one of the biggest sleepers. Camp caps always tend to do well, especially after the season. And they're like really easy flip. You know, they're not going to give you like a lot of profit, probably only like 20 to 30. But, you know, profit is profit when it comes to reselling. And I feel like these are super easy pickup manual. And, you know, if you're kind of scared to like mess up on like the North Face drop, I feel like this is one of your safest bets. So it can be dropping in five different colorways. So, you know, it's like a two tone type denim camp, uh, camp cap. So you have this red on red one, this white on red, this navy on something else. I don't know what the box logo is because since in the picture it's kind of turned around. So I'm assuming it might be like a navy on black or a navy on red. And then you're going to have this brown on brown and then you have this black on black. And retails are gonna probably give you this regular um, for like $48 for the camp caps. And when it comes to what colorways to go for, it definitely I'd say stick to the black on black one or the red on, I mean the white on red one. Those two are the ones to go for. I'd say the other ones stay away from, but definitely if you pick up those two, they're definitely gonna have some resale. And I could see resale reaching from around 60 to 90, and then you know 60 and like 60 to 70 in those other three colorways I, did, I didn't talk about. And then definitely 80 to 90 after the season and the black on black and then the white on red one definitely. Next up, I'm talking about the Supreme uh, Water Racing Shorts. These are kind of the matching set to the soccer jerseys I was talking about before. And then we'll be dropping the same two colorways. These are gonna do significantly better than the actual like soccer jersey, but they're still like a mid-level re resale piece. So retail for this is gonna be really steep. It's gonna be 118, probably like around there. And I can see resale for these going for around 120 and then peaking at 145 only in summer months. So that's the only problem with this piece is you're gonna have to flip it either this summer, when not that many people are going out because you know everyone's inside because of chronication, or you're gonna have to wait and hold it for an entire year, sell the next summer. And even then, I don't really see like 
a reason to do that since there's not going to be that much profit even after the season's over you know in the next summer so i definitely say just to stay away from this piece as a whole and you know only pick it up if you're going for the personal so guys literally like while i was making this video i was just in supreme community and then literally i was just making it i actually refreshed my page and they uploaded a few more items so i'm just going to cover those as well um so the first thing i'm going to cover are these uh animal hooded sweatshirts and the pants so they're both going to be dropping in like five different different five different colorways you have this orange you have this pink you have this black you're gonna have this white one and then you have this olive one. These are kind of irrelevant when it comes to resale, so I just that's what I'm kind of bundling to them together, like the pants and the hoodies. Um, you know, that's like it's just again, it's gonna be another personal piece, but they have actually confirmed the re retails finally, so it's gonna be 168 for the hoodie and then it's gonna be 148 for the pants. And then again, with the hoodie, I can't really see it going past like 170 to 190, maybe only in that olive colorway because Supreme doesn't really drop that too much. And then those pants, you know, um, they're cool, you know. I kind of I kind of do mess with the black ones, I can see the black ones or those white on violet ones is doing pretty well but i can't really see these going past like 160 to 180. so the second item supreme kind of just shop dropped on us are these mike davis skate pants so they're gonna be dropping in two different colorways both are gonna both of them are gonna be all over prints so one's gonna be a black and white all over print and the second one's gonna be colored in and they've confirmed retail for this to be 148 so you know i don't know too much i don't know the history too much around mike davis which is why i don't want to like say anything wrong or like miscorrect myself but if we're looking at objectively just through design of like previous pieces for supreme i can see these all over pants doing around 160 to around 180 just off the design alone during the season so the last piece i want to talk about you know to end off the this uh, collection video aside from the North Face one is going to be the Supreme Franklin Hood sweatshirt and this really reminds everyone of that money tee which did really well and that's currently going for 100 to 150 dead stock but that's a tee and it only retailed for 38 which is why it's doing so well this one the retail for this I'm assuming is going to be around 168 which is why it'll do good in the resale market just not as good as the tee because the tee started off at such a low price I could see this going for around 180 to 220 in the resale market and then definitely the best color ways to go for if you are I think you could pick up a black or or white easily manually in a size medium or large that's what i definitely go for so if you're not going for the north face collection i'd say this is probably the best item to go for aside from that so that's going to conclude my video on today's supreme week 13 retail and resale predictions aside from the north face collection so if you guys want to check out that video again you know i'll post it up on the information card or down below in the description so you know you guys can gauge like between both the items you know which ones are better and you know if you guys got any knowledge from this or you guys like the videos i'm posting definitely keep leave it a like and subscribe and turn your post bell notifications on so you never miss a video and i'll see you guys in the next one